for Cosimo, but they are doing their job for him as we get into the second leg with a one goal lead Cosimo can he hold on or will it be Oli Bolly to clutch up in the second leg 90 minutes of FIFA to see who will be knocked out from the PS4 qualifier one Cosimo from left to right here it's going to be makers Oli Bolly from right to left in the blue it sort of no one took the the initiative. No one took the game by the scruff of the neck in the first half of the first leg. Ryan, do you see a different story unfolding here or still a tentative tight affair? I think because Cosimo's taken the lead here, he knows and he's very experienced in keeping possession of the ball and making it, the opponent chase the game. And he knows here, a one goal lead is, is of course, it's not safe, but sooner or later, Oli Body is going to have to start committing a few players forward. And I feel like that's when MBD will start to pick him apart, slowly but surely. And I feel like... Oli Bully needs to get a goal, I'd say, quite soon, just to, so he doesn't fall into that trap. See, looking for the through balls again, Oli Bully there. Maybe change up the approach. It, it seems a little bit too reliant on those through balls, get, almost forcing the ball into our nine because you know he is the key man for you. For Cosimo, maybe more of a balanced attack, more, maybe more of a balanced team in general with only one icon. Selecting there, you can use a different, higher rated player. That's why you see Mbappe, Neymar and Ronaldo in use for him. And what, from what we've seen previously as well, I would say that might be the way to go with only one icon. And then you're getting Ronaldo, Neymar and Mbappe all in the team. Looking for R9 there with the through ball. Jimenez is the defender, round the corner for CR7 breaking into the box Ooh. looking for the cutback and Oblak does well that was a chance there and I just want to speak on, on what you spoke about with the icon and I agree with you I feel like having the one icon is the way to go personally um, and I feel like that player of course he's using Vieira but I'd say Hullet is probably the goal to because again you're able to get the three players over 90 rated when you do have the one icon the CR7 the Mbappe and the Neymar um, of course, you are missing out on, on R9. Potentially, you could choose him, but then you'd have to sacrifice two midfielders, being whether it could be maybe a Kante and Bruno or a Kante and Pogba, whichever option. But I just think the one icon is, is the way to go. And again, that's the thing I like about the restrictions. There is no one correct way to build your team. There's so many variations and so many people, so many players. You've even seen here, as we've seen Jimenez. I've never seen that. Desai yesterday with Keiko. Yep. I've never seen that either. So it's good to show some sort of variation. I mean, even in the current freeze promo as well, but down the line, uh, team of the year coming up, <laughs> you could see players sort of banking everything on their attack and really limiting the midfield and defence to get some of those team of the year attackers into their starting eleven. Ronaldo here on the edge of the box. Looking to create any sort of space here is CR7. Jimenez gets sent on the, the workaround, but he's done well. Done Again, very well. the Atletico Madrid centre-back. Yeah, I might have to take a look at him. I haven't really paid attention to his stats, but he's been doing pretty well so far this game. I feel like both of these players are defending well. They're doing the right options. They know when to play a switch, when to jockey, when to tackle. And that's a testament to and a, the reason why they're here. They're here on merit. All of these players have accomplished so much to reach here. And on PlayStation, it's so difficult. Like in the qualifiers, it's what, 1,024 competitors. And to become the top six in that is extremely difficult. And these players should be proud. And there's a lot, there's a lot of rewarding for, for reaching this stage. Ronaldo here, looking to bridge touch past Jimenez, does successfully, it's just, I'm not too sure, he went for the, maybe a shot there at the near post as well, it just seems, seems a little bit odd, I think that's the best way to describe it at the minute from Oli Bolly, he doesn't look, doesn't look himself. No, and that touch there, the bridge with R9, he's straight in, and you should be able to trust Ronaldo on his left foot there to take a shot across goal. Across goal, yeah. that's, yeah. that's personally what I do, but again, as I always say, it's so easy to say that you should be doing this <laughs> and that when you're watching it but in the moment he might have thought of another thing he probably was watching the run across the edge of the box or sorry um, the run in the box to see maybe if he could pass it across also worrying about goalkeeper movement as well there's so many factors to consider Cosimo a third of this game gone already he's holding on to that one goal lead this could be the change though R9 inside the box fake shot inside and again Jimenez is in the way ball going to bounce back for Ronaldo but it seems like whenever Oli Bolly is in one on one, there's an orange shirt there. He's there, and Jimenez is, is performing like Desai did yesterday. It's just.
fantastic and there's no compl well, there should be no complaints from him on that part and it's a chance here which is, has been intercepted and I feel like that's one of the very few times I've seen Cosimo come out of his half and sort of create a chance where Oli Bolly can be fearful of conceding yeah it's been all Oli Bolly in this first half so far uh, I'd love to see the, the possession stats at half time I'm guessing 65 maybe even 70 percent on the statistics Neymar played in here Cal Walker gets sent into Ronaldo that it's has to be, be a goal and it is a goal Cristiano Ronaldo it took him 40 minutes to get his goal tally up and running and it's Cristiano Ronaldo for Oli Bolli tied game one apiece one apiece and he's deserved it the goal was coming he done well he's composed I thought he might have done a little bit too much there turning on the left but it turns out it was the perfect choice to give him the goal and bring it back to an equal score now Cosimo sort of has to come out again I don't want to say he, he turtled up a little bit he shelled up but he was certainly defending more than he was going forward and maybe give a little bit of incentive to Oli Boy that this game is there for the taking oh. Neymar with a rainbow flick you can see he is absolutely flying right now that was close <laughs> those rainbow flicks in the box they're very <laughs> difficult to defend because of like the player switching you don't know what to do and yeah, it almost, it almost, almost came off to become a, a goal scoring opportunity there. But again, as you see, he's starting to gain confidence. And we see that with a lot of players when they get that first goal, they start to bring out the skills, bring out the flair because they're backing themselves. And if I was to guess, it would have run up, unless Cosmo could get a goal with the run of play. I, I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to say it. Just like this. Just like this. <laughs> I, just, saw it. I, I don't know what to say. And you see what it means to him, Cristiano Ronaldo against the run of play, slotting Cosimo back into the lead 2 1, just as you thought Oli Bully had the game. He was in the driver's seat. Cosimo answers back. What a game! As I say, I feel like every time I spent, it was literally the last kick of the half. Oli Bully done so well throughout that game in keeping possession and, and ensuring he could nullify NBD. But he scores 45th minute. Who else? Ronaldo. I did jinx it. But again, Oli Bully, he could take confidence from that first half. He knows he's still um, with the one goal deficit coming into the second half. But again, from what's been going on in the first half, he should back himself to create some chances to get back into this game. You score that goal if you're Oli Bully. You get back into the game. You bring out the rainbow flicks or the, the Neymar specific there we go rainbow <laughs> flick I like to call it the rainbow the rainbow <laughs> flick with Neymar and you see the confidence he's absolutely it's just it's flowing through him you concede on the stroke of half time how does that knock you back it's, it upsets you because it feels like everyone has that feeling right where you concede on the 90th minute or the 45th or the 120th 105th minute where it's literally just before the break and you're thinking oh of course right it's, it's the worst moment to concede a goal and again it's a thing where he would have liked to obviously go into the half with that one goal lead and being, being on equal terms but it's something that he's professional enough he knows he's been in these situations many a time he knows how composed he is and he backs himself to create chances and he said it in his in his interview we saw how confident he is going forward so I think we're going to see a lot more chances this half Cosimo looks to be starting the second half as the better player. Ronaldo, a couple oh, of step overs, beautiful. and he's just gone through. He's gone through the keeper. <laughs> we see <it>. Cristiano. <laughs> The love for Cristiano is there. I thought that was a fantastic goal there. He stopped in the box. He chose the right skill moves. He slams it bottom. It was sort of near post. I think the goalkeeper could have done a bit better. We speak about goalkeepers and personal preference. Me, if I'm considering that, he's going. But still, I feel like it was a great shot into the bottom corner. <laughs> Oh, look, the the work before the goal guarantee, it sort of warranted a goal. The goalkeeper, I'm asking questions of, but Cristiano Ronaldo doing the business for Cosimo. Two-goal lead. And now Oli Bolli really has to pull his finger out if he wants to get back into this game. It looked like Rashford came off there. 51 minutes. He scored just on the end of the first half. He scored just out the restart of the second half. Perfectly timed goals if you are Cosimo. Yeah, definitely. Literally, it's, you couldn't ask for a better time. And now he's got the two-goal advantage. And I, I said it before, him and Principe, defensively, they are so secure. So it's really hard to to come back in games against them. But again, I always say Oli Bolli is so good going forward. So if there's anybody that can do it, he should back himself to do it. And he's got a chance here. And he's back in straight away, as I said. He's got a goal back in. Yeah. 
that bridge touch just absolutely fantastic and I spoke about it at the start of the game we've not really seen much from R9 Ronaldo and Oli Bully but he is like a shark at a shipwreck he is lethal with R9 inside the box great finish at the near post Oli Bully back in the game fantastic finish and again we mentioned the bridge at that angle with a player who Again, on their, their, their primary foot is their right foot, and especially someone with R9 with a five-star weak foot. You bridge past the defender at that angle, and you take the shot first time. It's it's almost like it's almost 100% a goal, and we saw he did mess up the chance in the first. Lorente there moving the ball across to Mendy, Marcus Rashford now for Cosimo, edge of the box, turning back, couple of step overs, looking to create. An avenue of space to attack is Cosimo. 3-2, 30 minutes left to play here. Losers quarter-final. The winner will go through to the semi. You lose this game, you are knocked out of qualifier number one. Marcus Rashford, great touch there from Rafa Varane just to poke it off of Cristiano Ronaldo as he looked to turn. Bruno Fernandes moving the ball forward, carrying the ball 20, 30, 40 yards. Breaks for Vieira, into Herving Lozano. Um, you're just waiting, you're waiting for a green shirt to peel away from a man, to move into space, and Ronaldo does it. Ball breaks back to Ronaldo, inside, into Ronaldo again! Bottom corner, three apiece. Ryan Pessoa, you cannot count out Oli Bully. Seems as though we've lost Ryan Pessoa, so it is, Richard. It is. You cannot count him out. What a goal from Oli Bully. Three apiece. And truly a magnificent game that we are seeing right now unfold beneath our very eyes. And this is only game one of six, potentially seven, if the bracket gets reset, that we're going to be showing you. Coming up, we've got the great Dane himself, Ustin from Australis. These fellow Scandinavian right now, makers Oli Bully, making a game of this quarter-final right now. Alfonso Davis brought on for Neymar, it seems there. 20 minutes left to play. Cosimo, after having the lead numerous times, throws away a two-goal advantage. And it looks like Oli Bully has the grip between his teeth. Alfonso Davis bearing down on goal, looking to get it across the box. It seems like a defender just in the way there for Oli Bolly. I should say for Cosimo to get the ball away. Aggregate scoreline. We will be going to extra time and penalties if needed. Could be in down the line there, and he is in with Mbappe. What a one! Cosimo looks to go for the near post. He had options in the box. Seemingly he had too much time. He overthought the chance. And Makers Oli Bully looks to hit him on the counter-attack. Played out wide to Alfonso Davis. Expect the ball to be down this left-hand side. A lot in the final 15 minutes. Bringing on the pace demon from Bayern Munich. Pre predominantly a left-back, but can play in more of an advantageous role. Bruno Fernandes into Cristiano Ronaldo. Looking for R9 with a double tap. And Oblak does very well to smother the danger. A lot of question marks that we raised about Marcus Lorente, but he doesn't seem out of his depth whatsoever in this quarter-final. Coming up against 89 Bruno Fernandes and mid Patrick Vieira, two of the best CDMs on the game. Marcus Lorente is in form, doing a fantastic job in there next to the base icon Patrick Vieira. Speaking of Lorente, there he is on the ball, predominantly, predominantly more of a, you'd say, central midfielder, but doing the defensive work very well here is the Spaniard. Cosimo just taking the sting out of the game here a little bit. Coming into the final 10 minutes in this matchup. Neymar looking to thread it through into Mbappe. The ball does find its way to killing Mbappe. Are we going to see a big reaction from Cosimo? Or will it be Oli Bolli finally taking the lead? in this matchup final five minutes what is going to give 
Mbappe into Vieira, look for Neymar. Couple of step overs into Cristiano, back to Neymar. Got to go back to Ronaldo. Is he offside? Is he onside? He's offside. Just marginally offside there was Cristiano Ronaldo. Cosimo knows that that was his chance to finally put Oli Bolly to bed. It will now be the Swede to manufacture potentially his own destiny with the final chance of the game. Ronaldo. Play back to Bruno Fernandes. Expect this to go out wide. That's where he does go. Into Alfonso Davies. Finding the feet of R9. And that will do us three apiece. Extra time is looming. We cannot separate these two. And here we go into 30 additional minutes. What a game we have seen so far. And I believe Ryan Pessoa is joining us back. It's not Ryan, it's Mr. Brandon Smith joining us for the additional 30 minutes. Brandon, what a game we've seen so far. You cannot count Oli I mean, To be honest, Rich, I've had the absolute pleasure of just sitting back with a coffee here and enjoying all of that match unfold. So I'm absolutely buzzing to come in for extra time here. But what a game. Between the two of them, it was quite a long time that Oli Bolly was waiting to just get back into the time. You could see a lot of frustration for long periods in that game in terms of him being able to create chances and to really be able to play the way that he wants to play. But we're in extra time now. It's all about who wants to stay in this tournament and who, unfortunately, will be crashing out of it, Richard. But, I mean, it's still so hard to call, isn't it? We're going to need 30 more minutes of extra time. Yeah, absolutely. It's, it's really nip and tuck this entire series we've seen so far there was a two goal advantage Oli Bolly clawed it back two quick goals in quick succession for Oli Bolly and Cosimo must be thinking how can I keep this man out here comes Ronaldo Oli Bolly again we have to find a way through but must be said team makers two players in today's European Qualifier 1 Finals. I mean, they did the business in the summer, in all honesty, before FIFA 21 did drop. They picked up a handful of talent, through Nathan Higgins. Of course, Principe has been a player that's played for them for many of years. Bolly Bolly, looking to try and find Vieira, or can he find Cristiano Ronaldo? He's still Vieira, very patient on the turn. Little scoop turn into Alfonso Davies, of all people. It will be a corner. Fantastic save from Alfonso Davies, from Oblak forced by Alfonso Davies at the near post he's been a real threat since he's been introduced onto the pitch has Alfonso Davies he's on oh, that could be the chance will be. it's that trusty R9 R69 as we called him in the summer steps up once again for Makers Oli Bolly and that's the first time that he has led across these two individual legs Richard Buckley just been fighting and clawing back into this game every single twist and turn he's managed to keep with Cosimo and finally I talked about it earlier R9 Ronaldo for Oli Bolly is his key man I mean for so many pro players Rich he is that player that just provides so much clinicalness in the final third the five star week for the incredible in-game finishing stats that that man does possess once again, he will be the hero. Here's Cosimo now. Straight back down the other end. As we said, that's the first time across the two legs, Richard, where we have really seen Cosimo trailing in the aggregate scoreline. He will still have 15 in-game minutes to, to salvage. Maybe a penalty shootout or to turn the tyre around. We've pretty much played that one minute of added time now. So that ball has to go forward. Florenzi punch into the feet of Mbappe! And I don't know how he's got away with that. Literally no space at all. Mbappe turns away. And still, there is nothing to separate the two at half-time and extra time. I think the only way, in all honesty, that one of these two will be progressing is through the dreaded penalty shootout. It's been so tightly contested. It's been such a battle. It's been a war, this <laughs> game. And you saw the reaction from Cosimo when he scored that goal. Every other goal, it's been... Big, it's been passionate. That one right there, more subdued. He knows this game is far from over. And Klosterman actually brought on there for Rafa Varane. Maybe a defensive substitution, get the extra pace on at the back. It's a smart change, isn't it? 
from Oli Bully there. Just add a little bit of energy, a bit more pace into that defensive four. Here we go, though. 15 minutes left to play here. Remember, loser goes home. Winner will stay in the tournament. We'll move into that loser bracket semi final matchup. I'll tell you what, what a start to proceed into on the PlayStation 4. Here's R9. He was the hero in the first half of extra time for Oli Bolly. Can he be the hero again this time? I think it, potentially we're looking at a penalty shootout. I mean, it seems like the fairest way to split these two, in all honesty. Been absolutely nothing at all to separate them. Will it be a bit of magic or will it be a mistake? There's Oli Bolly again now. Neymar trying to get into Ronaldo it's a great save and it's just cleared away by Cosimo just about gets away with that danger but you can see Oli Bolly piling on the pressure he doesn't want to go to the penalties look our goalkeeper watch Jan Oblak has been outstanding for Cosimo in this series he's produced some real top quality clutch saves one on one against some of the best attackers in the game don't get me wrong, we know there's variety in goalkeepers, you know, All Black's not always that number one choice. Edwin van der Sar's popped up a couple of times, of course, Alisson and Edison, the two Brazilians, they're quite popular goalkeepers that, that many enjoyed to use. Last chance potentially of this game, Porto Carrasco, of all people, and it will go out for a throw for Oli Bolly. Richard, I think that's pretty much just done, and we are going to be going to a penalty shootout here, unless Oli Bolly was to lose possession. That's it. Oh, yes. he has. He has lost possession. His name up. Cosimo, maybe the last chance of the game. That ball has got to go into the box. He did it just on the stroke of the half-time whistle in extra time. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. It's not done yet. How long are we playing here? Done? There it is done. He made sure that <laughs> it time. Is done. We are going to he made sure that out time. to decide who will be staying in this qualifier one on the PlayStation 4. We know how competitive the PlayStation side of Europe is. Over 2,000 sign-ups for this qualifier. So many people wanting to get into that top six, Richard. And still, there's no way to separate them. This could have to be a penalty shootout. And here we go. It's Cosimo up first. With Florenzi of all people. And it will be a goal for him. Great penalty just tucked into the bottom corner there. Hilving Lozano stepping up to the spot. For Oli Bolly, slots it down the middle. Perfect pen so far, Richard. Perfect penalty so far. Carrasco, another one of those super subs. Up for Cosimo, down the middle. Easy as you like. Now Klosterman, not a penalty taker you want from 12 yards out. Slots it down the middle. No yeah, bother. Subs up first, aren't they? Cristiano Ronaldo, Mr. Reliable here. Cosimo, can he put the ball away again? Down the middle. You've got to remember there's no target on as well, so you're not really going to go into the corners. Alfonso Davies stepping up to the spot. Fantastic penalty. I mean, He's been putting his penalties into the corner, isn't he? And Bappe scored that equaliser. Again, it's that same area down the middle. Seems to be working for him. Cristiano Ronaldo stepping up from the spot for Oli Bolly goes down I mean, the middle. Sudden death. How are we going to separate these two? Vieira now. The icon down the middle again. <laughs> Oli Bolly must score right now with Mr. Reliable. He's won him plenty of money in the past. Ronaldo steps up to the spot wow. and slots it to pen. the left. Fantastic penalty there from R9. It's five out of five from both of these two. It's perfect pens. Name on out with his own run-up in sudden death to get us underway. Is it down the middle again? He goes left and he scores. Again, the pressure back on Oli Bully. He must score with Bruno Fernandes. Scored plenty for United this season. Can he do it for Oli Bully? Goes to the left and he scores. Fantastic penalties, isn't it? Six out of six for both of these two. It's Furlon Mendy for Cosima. Down the middle doesn't work anymore. Vieira. Stepping up to the spot for Oli Bowie. Can he score? And he slots it in. Oli Bowie moves through to the losers' semi final. What a series between Oli Bowie and Cosimo. That is one for the history books. What a game.